<laughs> Katie Quinn is here. She is the public information officer for the city of Rock Hill. Katie, once again, the city is pulling off a world event. Kudos to everyone. Um, the folks we have interviewed from UCI have just been very impressed with the city and all of the volunteers and just a job well done. Thank you. There's a lot of moving parts and it obviously takes a, a lot of support from all levels of city staff and city management and um, city council and you know all the medical staff and the volunteers and everybody in this community really stepped up to support this. And we need to let folks know it's like a miniature city out here. It really is. But you also have a city to run, so yes. that the day-to-day -day stuff is still taking place. So I know folks might just say, "Well, everyone's out here at the BMX Supercross track," but the the work is still getting done on the other yes, end. Yes, yes, yeah. There, yeah, we've left a few people back at City Hall to do the things that need to get done. They're going to make sure your internet's on, your yes. cash is still picked. Yeah, right. All the, yeah. All the things. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Katie, as we're heading into the last uh, couple of days of racing, let's walk through what folks need to know. I understand tomorrow, Saturday, it's free for York County residents. Yes. Yeah, so as a thank you for everybody's hospitality and welcoming the world to Rock Hill, we um, are offering free admission to York County residents and one of their guests with proof of residency. So just show up at the track. Um, parking is, there's free parking at the Greens and Riverwalk at Elevation Church, um, at various places with shuttle service. So you don't have to worry about parking if you park in one of the free lots and get in for free with a, a friend and just check out the Olympians. And races tomorrow will start at 2 p.m. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And it's the, it's the big finale. That's so right. it's the fierce competition. And they're racing for not only a trophy, but the official UCI jersey, which yep. they call like the rainbow the jersey. The rainbow jersey, That's yeah. Right. And the title of world champion, which is a big deal and a big medal. And um, and, and then they'll be in a couple of months or a couple of weeks, they'll um, take the track in the Olympics. Yeah. And 2017, um, it was for elite men and elite women, the U.S. swept it. So first place for elite women and elite men in 2017 so we'll see what happens yeah. this time now katie i know you said they get a medal they get a jersey but i have to be honest with you between chris myself and ryan we love our trophies we got from the media <laughs> showcase that we did a couple of weeks ago so they can have all that i'll gladly take our trophies <laughs> that's where the media showdown was a hit and you guys uh performed uh pretty good <laughs> yeah. we want to call it a media discipline yeah. <laughs> because they like to use the word discipline yes. here so yeah. cycling discipline so we'll call it media and discipline ryan ryan got a little bloody so it's not bmx that's, if there's not a little blood that's and right that's right healed up nicely he said now katie do i dare to ask is this something that the city might host again in a couple of years um it's likely um so we'll see let, let, let's get through this one and let us all take a breath and um of course that will be up to uh people uh, above me, uh, City Council, City Management, and also UCI if they'd like to bring this event back here. Okay. Well, you tell them that we've got a couple of yeses already. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We're in. Katie Quinn is the Public Information Officer with the City of Rock Hill.